We are the only political party that are calling for a simple change in the law to make reproduction illegal. The ongoing policies are a shame and a disgrace to the Labour Party, to the Conservative Party, who have allowed reproduction to continue over and over. And the state of the nation is so bad, and it's all because of reproduction. Nobody here should ever have actually been born. It's obvious. Look around you. Do you see anybody here that we could not do without? We could do without the lot of you. I could do without the lot of you for a start. Don't know why I come here, to be honest. The quality of the people here, they prefer to hear some crazy person rather than come to another slightly crazy person and speak about important things. And there is only one seriously important thing to speak about which is the source of all of our problems that nobody's speaking about because nobody wants to admit it, and that is our parents. They are the cause and source of all of your problems. Did you know that? Yes? They never told you that because they didn't want you to figure it out. They wanted you to look after them and respect them. But actually, do they deserve any respect? What for? for having a nice feeling all those years ago. Anybody can do that. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, we at the expiry party are saying enough is enough. We need to talk about the cause of all these problems, which is reproduction. And every problem can be sorted out eventually by putting an end to reproduction. I don't know if there's anybody here that has either reproduced already or is thinking of doing it. Anybody here has reproduced or thinking of reproducing? Have you? You've done it? I should say to the Jewish people? Hold on, come here, come, come a bit quick. Hold on, hold on. Say, say that again. So, I said you should say that to your Jewish people yeah. because their women give yeah. birth twice a year. Twice a year? Isn't that impossible? Yeah. Isn't it impossible to give birth twice a year? Uh, Jewish can do it. The Jews can do it? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> Any other people should be stopping reproducing or it's just the Jews? No, the rest of the people are free to do what they want. Everyone else should be allowed to do what they want? Yeah. Right. Okay, thank you for that. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> I like that. That was really good. That would be, be great. Did you hear what you didn't hear what he said, did you? He said Jews have two, two babies a year, every, every Jewish woman. So they've got to stop it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, not only am I involved in a brand new political party, I'm also involved in a brand new religion because it's time that we had a decent religion. We haven't had a decent one in years. Since maybe Buddhism, which had sort of some cool parts, a bit of meditation, you know, a bit of nice hugging and all that, a bit of yoga, quite cool religion, sort of in some ways. I am part of a new religion that based on four values. And the first value is the importance of antinatalism, which is the ethical argument against reproduction. I've called this religion utopianism because we utopians will put up with nothing but utopia, and utopia means no place. Because in my mind, there is no place for unnecessary suffering. And that's why 
utopians support antinatalism, which is the ethical stand against reproduction. Look around here, ladies and gentlemen. Do you need any more evidence for us to stop with this reproduction malarkey? <laughs> Look around here and ask yourself, would you think, if you could decide, if you could decide with your finger, sir, and you could point to someone or to more than one people here, and you could cause them to reproduce, who would you point the finger at, if anyone? <laughs> Do not allow him in. Say no. Because <laughs> he doesn't do it because he loves you. He does it for the feeling. Don't let him in. Unless you want to be burdened with a child for the rest of your life, just like your parents are burdened with you. And if you don't think your parents are burdened with you because you're lovely and smiley and all happy and all that stuff at the moment, probably because you've been taking drugs, you are a burden to them because if they would have taken precautions all those years ago, they'd be a lot richer, they'd have a holiday home in the south of France, and all they've got is you. So ladies and gentlemen, that was just a test for my new piece of equipment. So just gonna have a little listen to that. Thank you for being part of it. If you wanna make breeding illegal, vote for the expiry party on December the 12th and let's put a stop to this whole reproduction malarkey. Thank you.